Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to look at uh, basement excavation. This building is 60 feet long and uh, 35 feet wide. The excavation depth is about 10 feet. First of all, we're going to calculate the area of the building. Suppose this is only one story, so we're going to do length times width. Uh, the perimeter of building will be uh, the length plus the width, and then times two. Suppose this is the rectangle building. Don't forget uh, that bracket when you do the perimeter calculation. By this time, probably you noticed that there is a mistake in this sheet. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the number, just as the unit for perimeter of the building should not be square feet. It should just be linear foot. So you can type linear foot if you like to, or you can just type uh, LF, which is the abbreviation for linear feet. Now we're going to look at uh, a 3D view of uh, the section for excavation. This is what it look like, because the, the excavation is 10 feet deep. So in this case, we will have to allow some slope. This slope is going to apply to every side of the building. If you look at a section, so we can see the excavation volume can be broken down into two parts. One is the space taken by the basement itself. And then the other thing is the slope volume around the building. On the sheet, our excavation volume will be equal the area of the building times the depth. That's the space taken by the basement plus the slope volume, the perimeter uh, indicating how long that slope was running, every side of the building, times the depths. Remember the triangular section we looked at, the horizontal was the same as the vertical because the angle was 45. So we're going to time that 10 feet again uh, but remember, because it's a triangular shape, you will have to divide by two. Now, in order to get to the cubic yards, you will have to add the whole thing as a bracket and then divide by 27. Backfill is really easy to understand. You take the excavation volume uh, minus the volume taken by the building itself. So that's the area of the building times the depths. I remember in order to get the cubic yards, the first number was okay, that was in cubic yards, but the other two numbers, when they multiplied together, that's only to cubic feet. So you will have to add another 27 in the end. Uh, remember, don't put any bracket here. I just hit enter, now you should have 352 cubic yards for backfill. Just want to clarify that in our calculation, we did not consider the concrete foundation because all, the, all those footings and walls and the paths, uh, they will also take volumes. So when you backfill, uh, actually you will have to consider those items. In the future, we're going to discuss rough grading, uh, detailed excavation, including trenching. Uh, but those will be the topics of uh, future videos. Uh, hopefully you learned something from today's video. If you like it, you can subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you next time.